Good morning, it's 9 a.m. and I'm going to call the meeting to order. My name is Barbara Brain and I am chairperson of the committee's adjustment. And I call the meeting to order at 9 a.m. The committee members include members of council. However, we sit at this table as the committee of adjustment and not as members of council. Our jurisdiction lies solely with matters of intent and minor variance application. The secretary of this committee is Jamie. All right, just, I see both of you sitting there. We're going we're gonna to appoint them. Okay. This is a hearing to consider applications for minor variances and consents within the Township Society and is held under the Provisions of Planning Act 1990. This hearing will be in accordance with the Provincial Planning Act, the Municipal Act, and the Township Society Official Plan. Can I get confirmation of the agenda? Okay, Brian moves, John seconds. Be it resolved that the committee confirm the agenda as presented. All in favor? Carried. Declaration of pecuniary interest. Are there any declarations of pecuniary interest? <coughs> I'm here. I'm here. Oh. I'm aware of. Sorry, I should have followed the one on the screen as opposed to the one on my desk. <laughs> I will back up and go to appointments. We have a resolution be it resolved that the committee appoint Jamie Ekenswiller as Secretary Treasurer of the Committee's Adjustment. Could I have a mover? Your turn. <laughs> John Woodbury, seconded by Brian Milne. All in favor? Carried. Now we can move on to confirmation of the agenda. I think we have that under our belt. And a declaration of pecuniary interest. I saw none, so seeing none, I will remind the committee to declare any pecuniary interest if any should arise during the course of the meeting. Adoption of the minutes. Be it resolved that the committee approve the minutes from the January 23, 2019 Committee of Adjustment meeting as presented. Moved by Brian, seconded by John. Any discussion? None? I'll turn that call question. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor? Carried. So we'll move on to the hearing portion. I will ask that anyone speaking about an application to state their full name and address for the record. Please keep all remarks relevant to the consent or minor variance application before us as the Committee of Adjustment has no jurisdiction on any other matters. Any materials submitted to the Committee for reviewing will remain the property of the Committee of Adjustment and will be available for public viewing in the application file and may be placed online. Please direct all remarks and questions to the chairperson of the committee. This will enable the hearing to be conducted in an organized manner. Our first file the file name is D1 slash 19, owners Ruben Hoover. The purpose of the application is to sever off a 68.57 meter squared strip of land and add it to the township. Road allowance, sorry, I had to move the screen. The retained lands are then to be merged with the surrounding lands. This is to facilitate a lot merger with the surrounding agricultural property. The effect is to sever a 1 meter by 68.57 meter strip of land along Southgate Side Road 75 and add it to the township road allowance. The retained land consisting of 7,768.98 meters squared will then be added to the adjacent farm parcel. Is there a request for deferral the location of the land? Uh, the subject land is Concession 3, SWTSR, Part 204, RP 1696935, Part 3, Former Township of Croton. The lands are alternatively described as 752766, Southgate Side Road 75. Is there a request for deferral or withdrawal of the application? Is there a uh, request for deferral or withdrawal of the application? None received. Seeing none, we can proceed. 
May I please have clarification that the sign was posted? I confirm the sign was posted on June 4th, 2019. Is the applicant in attendance? And if so, would they care to come forward to present their case? Seeing none. I will now ask Plan Clinton Strudwick to review all comments received and present his staff report. Thank you, Chair Dobry. Good morning, committee. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, hopefully is a fairly straightforward procedure this morning for this particular file. Um, one of the legal requirements for, for merging uh, lots that have been created by consent is um, you actually have to, what they call, destroy the original lot description. Uh, and so that can be simply by severing off a little bit. <coughs> Square or in this case a strip of land um, and altering it and then when you do that the retained portion can then be added to the fine parcel. If it was created prior to 1979 we wouldn't need to go through this step but the uh, province in their wisdom made this rule and now we have to sort of this is the, the workaround if you will that was presented to me by numerous lawyers in terms of how to <laughs> how to get around this. So uh, as far as comments received, the Stoking Valley Conservation Authority uh, have reviewed the application and it's acceptable to the SBCA staff. The building department has no concerns or objections. Public works indicate that uh, the road widening is necessary, so <laughs> it has been included as a condition. Um, the County of Gray have no concerns with the application. Hydro One has no concerns with the application. Enbridge Gas Inc. indicates that you may have service lines running within the area which may or may not be affected by the proposed severance. Should the proposed severance impact these services, it may be necessary for the gas service to be terminated and relocated at the owner's expense. The historic Stoning Métis have no concerns or objections. And that is all the agency comments in the file. And there are no public comments in the file. Um, so just a, a brief comment on, on this application then. Uh, essentially, we're taking a one meter strip off the front and adding it to the allowance, uh, similar to what we would do for road widening. And then the remainder will be added back into the farm parcel. It's part of uh, a process where they're trying to either meet NDS or the, they're tired of having tenants there. They want to have it all under one ownership, etc. So um, that's that's the nature of this this application. Thank you, Clinton. Do any members of the committee have any questions? Are there any others in attendance that would like to speak in support of the application? Are there any others in attendance that would like to speak in opposition of this application? I will again ask the committee members if they have any questions. So, okay. May I request a mover and seconder to grant, refuse, or defer the application? And that is be a result that the Committee of Adjustment receives staff report PL2019-042 for information and that the severance be it's my first time since being appointed. Lost my spot. Grant, refuse, or defer the application. I just, yes. I just want to. I realized when that we were doing the decision sheet that the recommendations, the first two recommendations in my staff report are actually the same. Um, so I've just deleted one of them when. Uh, yes. 
so I just used it to make the division. I didn't need to do that. So one and two are the same. Are the same. Yeah. Just with slightly different. Which one would you like me to choose? <laughs> the one that's on the decision sheet, which should be. <coughs> I don't have the decision sheet in front of me. Yeah. Clause of the severance fee approved. I'm going to put in there now. Is anyone going to make a motion to put in to approve it? Sure. Thank you. Gotcha. Makes it easier for reading. Certainly. Okay. The committee is therefore uh, that the severance be approved with the following conditions that the retained lot be merged with the adjacent farm parcel and that the survey be approved, be provided, and that all outstanding taxes, fees, and charges are paid, if any. Could I have a seconder? Ryan and John, any discussion? All right. All in favor? Went away. Work in progress. All right. So the so. To give me some instruction, do I just now stick to the committee having heard evidence? Okay, thank you. I'll read it from the decision sheet. So glad this former chair is sitting right there. Yeah, I'm being as much help as I can. Yeah. <laughs> the committee having heard evidence relating to the present application and the matters pursuant to Section 53 of the Planning Act and having heard from the public as a result of the circulation of notice and taken into consideration their comments, the committee has determined the following have been satisfied. That regard has been adequately made to the matters pursuant to 51, brackets 24, of the Planning Act, and the matters have been satisfied. The proposal generally conforms to the County of Gray and the Township Associate Official Plans. The proposal is consistent with the Provincial Policy Statement 2005, and the proposal represents good planning and is compatible with the surrounding areas. Public comments received have been considered. The committee has therefore approved the application subject to the following conditions being met. That the retained lot be merged with the adjacent farm parcel and that the survey be provided and that all outstanding taxes, fees, and charges are paid, if any. We can now move on to the next <laughs> that concludes that file. We can move on to the next one. We will now proceed to file number B2-19, owner Stephen Weber, subject land concession 3, lot 38, 39, and 40, geographic township of Vermont. The purpose of the application is to create a 1.6 hectare parcel for church and cemetery use. The severed parcel will be 1.6 hectares and have a frontage of 106.2 meters and a depth of 1,514.9 meters. The retained lot will be approximately 75 hectares and have a frontage of 31.9 meters. Both the parcels have frontage on Gray Road 109. This is in accordance with related zoning file C10-18. Revise the uh, before sign. There's just a typo on it. <coughs> the effect is to sever a 1.6 hectare parcel of land from the farm parcel to establish a lot for a church and cemetery. The retained lands that consist of 75 hectares and will continue to be farmed. Is there a request for deferral or withdrawal of an application? Received. 
Seeing none, we can proceed. May I please have clarification that the sign was posted? <coughs> Deputy Chair, I confirm that the sign was posted on June 4th, 2019. Thank you. Is the applicant in attendance? And if so, would they care to come forward to present their case? No, no comments. I don't have anything to present. That's fine. I will now ask Planner Constrederick to review all comments received and present his staff report. Thank you, Chair Green. Um, this application, uh, the committee has seen before in front of Council as a, a zoning amendment, which um, has been approved by Council and um, the appeal period is over. and the potential impacts on neighboring uses uh, being the, the tool as well as the Optimus Club and neighboring dwellings as well. Um, the, the lots have since been, there's, there's two actual farm parcels that are very odd shaped. Um, those lots have now been merged under one pin according to Gil Deverell So they are under one pin now. So this severance deals with uh, basically creating the lot for the church and cemetery as was proposed in the zoning under one, uh, from one parcel as opposed to the two that are shown there. So uh, the comments we've received, the County of Gray indicate that County Transit and services have reviewed the subject file and have no concerns. An entrance permit will be required and please review the attached engineering field report for further details. Um, it, it, it was included in the package. Um, there's nothing terribly out of the ordinary about it. Um, provided that positive comments from, from zoning bylaw C1018 and all transportation comments are addressed. Staff, no concern. <coughs> the en Enbridge Gas Inc. Their emails are different right now. Uh, indicate that they may or may not have service lines running in the area, and if, they're requir if the project requires one to be removed, it will be at the owner's expense. <coughs> the Historic Stock and Métis indicate that they have no objection or opposition. Hydro One indicates that they are receipt of the application and have no comments or concerns at this time. Historic Stock and Valley indicate that the staff have reviewed the proposed condensed to sell land and the proposal is acceptable to the SBCA staff. Building department will require approval permits for construction. A barrier free washroom will be required with a septic system. Uh, road access and civic number will be required before <coughs> development uh, can proceed. So they'll need to, when the consent happens, they'll need to get a one number. And the Public Works Department indicate safe access can be provided. It's Gray County jurisdiction <coughs> as far as the road is concerned. Um, stormwater management uh, plan will be required and I believe that's in the conditions that I've recommended. Uh, as part of this, it's not just a consent, there's also an easement that will be part and parcel with this. And that's all the agency comments that I've received. Uh, as far as additional public comments, uh, we did receive a fax this 
morning. Uh, just to give just sort of why it clicked about I've been scrambling here. <laughs> we did receive a fax this morning at 7.30 a.m. from an individual, and then at 9.02 they requested us to uh, destroy it and pull it from the agenda. So, <laughs> meaning they no longer want to uh, include those comments. So, uh, just making you aware it is in the file, however, that they requested us not to read them. Thank you, Clinton. Do any members of the committee have any questions? No, ma'am. I do have one question with regard to the easement. And it's the township ditch, but it's the county road. If there is Enbridge gas lines that need to be relocated, you indicated at the owner's expense. Is that the applicant who's requesting the severance, or is could it end up coming back if, it, if it's in the ditch or if it's in the, town, the county road allowance? Well, it won't be the township, I'll, I'll say that. Mm -hmm. if, if, it, the town, if we win on the township, it won't happen. <laughs> so it'll likely be on the owner's expense if it's it required. I don't imagine... The landowner's but, expense yeah, as so opposed to the county yes. owning the road allowance. The, the easement is actually towards the back of the property and then sort of goes up on a <coughs> northeast angle to the township uh, ditch. And, and we own property in that little triangle that's difficult to see here. Mm -hmm. that easement? Uh, yeah, so it, it's going to that parcel then and then from the ditch it goes out to the county road. Okay, thank you. Are there any others in attendance that would like to speak in support of the application? Are there any others in attendance that would like to speak in opposition of the application? I will again ask the committee members if there is a if there is a requirement for further discussion. I'm here. May I ask for a mover and seconder to grant, refuse, or defer the application? I'll move approval. Thank you. We have Brian will move to grant the application with John seconding it. The decision um, of the committee. Pardon me? Oh, that's correct. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? The decision of the Committee of Adjustment is to grant the application with the following conditions of the consent. The Committee having heard evidence relating to the present application in the matters pursuant to Section 53 of the Planning Act and having heard from the public as a result of the circulation of notice and taken into consideration their comments, the Committee has determined that the following have been satisfied. That regard has been adequately made to the matters pursuant to Section 5124 of the Planning Act and the matters have been satisfied. The proposal generally conforms to the County of Gray and the Township of Sedgate official plan. The proposal is consistent with the Provincial Policy Statement 2005, and the proposal represents good planning and is compatible with the surrounding area. Public comments received have been considered. The committee has therefore approved the application, subject to the following conditions being met. One, that a six-meter drainage easement be registered in favor of a new parcel extending from the parcel to the Township ditch, and two, that a stormwater, grading, and drainage plan is prepared to the satisfaction of the Public Works Department, and three, that survey be provided, and that all outstanding taxes, fees, and charges are paid, if any. I'm wondering if we should revise the and reprint because there was a typo in the purpose of not that it changes the meaning of anything. So it should read this should change. 
the script should change. Oh, no, it says that. No, it says the provincial reprint. policy statement 2014. Yes. Okay, so we're going to reprint both of those mm -hmm. um, decisions yeah. and we'll re sign them. Mm -hmm. So that concludes our meeting today. Uh, the committee decisions have may be appealed within 20 days of the date of notice to the local planning appeal <coughs> tribunal. I think you're still going to call it that. May I have a motion to adjourn? Oh. <laughs> Member Woodbury yes. has moved that we adjourn. We are adjourned. Congratulations, gentlemen. Yes. Thank you. Oh, wow. One step further. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> have a good day.